All right, I'm gonna do a quick MakerBot video for my friends over at the Daily Paul um, and kind of show a little project I'm working on. So I'm gonna build a drone, an unmanned aerial vehicle. I've got a little module here that has some three-way gyros, a compass, an altimeter, and I have a little GPS and a bunch of electronics, and I need somewhere to mount it on my plane. So what I've decided to do is rip this off, like so, and I print it out using the MakerBot some pieces. And I'm going to try and do this as best I can. I have a front piece for the canopy which I printed and my GPS fits perfectly in there like so. And then I have a second part of my canopy. I have writing on the side if we can see it. UAV drone is what it says and the other side says Arju Pilot which is what this board is and they will fit nicely together using some little teeth oops i have a cable right there hang on let me plug the cable up because it's built to i'm gonna go in. i just pulled the module out for simplicity reasons and it's just gonna go in there like so and what it's gonna do is fit on the top of my aircraft right here and it does fit it's a little tight fit and I'll be able to mount my electronics now I still need and that fits better I still need the third piece so I've been designing it here using Google SketchUp somebody asked earlier what you use and I've got a 3d model of the piece I'm designing and so we're gonna go over and check it out on the 3d printer let me run to my other room over here and here is the MakerBot. Now even since the last video I've done a lot of upgrades. There's uh, glass, plexiglass all around the sides to hold in the heat. And there's a heated build platform which is different than the uh, conveyor belt platform that I posted on the last video. And I have my model here using the program and I can just click build. And it does a little few safety checks and then it'll go. So while it's doing that we'll, uh, we'll talk about the bot. Uh, it's a MakerBot Cupcake. It's batch 15. It's one of the first generation. Um, I built every every little thing on here. All these boards, not all of them. A lot of them had to be soldered by hand. That one, some of these boards like that one, some of those came pre-assembled. But a lot of these boards had to be soldered by hand. I did all the wiring, every screw. I have a really fancy uh, wiring job in there that I spent a lot of time on I went to the computer store and picked up some little LEDs and threw a nifty little button on here so it's, it's totally hackable none of this was part of the original design but it uh, you know you get it and it just comes in a big box and so you can totally hack it together I, I stained it so that was the original color of the box I have a few little issues with mine that newer make newer 3d printers don't have I take a minute to to get going but what it's going to do is print and it will print it's going to start printing a layer by layer by layer and this print is going to take an hour and a half oh. All right, well, I actually do have a problem, so I'm going to stop the video and I'll splice it together in a minute. The nozzles, I have to actually manually set my nozzle height, and the nozzle is a little bit too low, and so it's grinding into the platform. So let me stop it and restart it, and I'll pick up the video again. Um, hang on. Okay, take two. Um, this bot actually does have a few little issues that have been resolved with uh, later model 3D, mo uh, 3D printer models. You know, like I said, this was first generation. MakerBot has totally redesigned the way that the no uh, the heater nozzle works, and now there's automatic homing, so the bot always knows where it's supposed to be. This bot I have to set every time, and it's a big pain in the in the butt. So, but whatever, it still does the job. You know, as I tell my wife, this thing is has a lot of issues and it's not that great but when you look at the uh, technology in general it's really cool and I'll show you some prints that that uh, I've done here in just a minute my lighting's not too great and I think that green is far worse 
why don't you hang out and watch it print just for a minute and uh, I'm gonna try and fix the lighting and then I'll show you some uh... sorry I'm not the best videographer I have a tripod and it's just it's not you know, get what you pay for I guess So hang out for a minute, and I'm going to go grab a light. I think that'll improve the visibility. So basically, it's it uh, it's pretty slow. I printed about 30 millimeters per second. Um, I'm using a three millimeter ABS plastic line, which is just uh, looks like weed whacker line. My nozzle heats up to uh, 400, and it's 220 225 Celsius, so that's about 440 or so Fahrenheit and my platform there is it sets at uh, 120 Celsius so that's about 220 or so Fahrenheit so the newer 3d printers they do print a good bit faster they print at about 120 millimeters per second it's about four times faster than this one um, but you know it's all kind of relative because then you get bigger platforms and the size of your prints increase and therefore your build time is just as long so that's going to go for a while and i'll show you some other stuff real quick while that goes what it's going to do is print i've actually already printed the third piece of the canopy but it doesn't quite fit so i have to print it again but it's going to print this canopy and as you can see it kind of comes back a little bit so there's there's tilt in it in the back and so it does overhangs pretty well and if we can see the the actual plastic lines it's it's pretty cool you know it leaves lines so here's what I got I got a bunch of models but here's some of my cooler ones um, here's my Mars Rover that I was showing you guys you know I got a little finger I got a gold pan made a little airplane oh, P51 Mustang you know that was to test overhangs this is actually quite older print I print much better than this now uh, but that was to test overhangs the finger going through the hole um, I have triangles you know pyramids this one's kind of cool uh, I got a grenade and the grenade screwable it's got a screwable lid so the lighting sucks I know it does and so it has a screwable lid you know that kind of moves it just clips on so it's whatever it does work um i have john stewart i always tried to get somebody to try and make me ron paul because i don't know how to do that that was made with a 3d scanner but that's john stewart and if somebody could ever make me ron paul i'll be more than happy to make you some copies and send it to you um got a whistle it works balls cat toys golf tees at the little 3D printer expo I went to, everybody liked this. This is a, you know, just a little toy. Um, Mother's Day. We love mom. Uh, different colors of filament. More whistles. There's a, a knot. That's kind of cool. You know, just junk. The coolest thing I'm doing is, is here the plane. You know, I'm going to build this canopy. It will fit up there like that whenever I get it perfect gonna fit up there I have an HD camera mount right here that I made so it fits onto my landing gear I forgot to show you that a minute ago so you know it has some practical purposes I have doorbells upstairs my buddies have some doorbells that are broken at their house and you can't press the doorbell button so um, I printed out a doorbell I make knobs I've got some little hooks around the house you know just junk but yeah this is the the cupcake I would definitely not recommend buying this one it's got a lot of issues and it's most 
most people I've talked to who bought one of these never got theirs working because of the amount of work that went into it. But as I stated in my post earlier, you know, somebody hired me to build this and he bought all the upgrades that I needed. And so I felt obligated to get it done just because I was getting paid to do it. And then after, after the fact, he just doesn't want it anymore. He wanted it to do prototyping of very, very small things. And this won't, this won't do it. So it prints this little plastic right here. Looks like a weed whacker line. You know, you get really fine deals. So anyway, I'll quit rambling, but that's my MakerBot. I'm really proud of it. Like I said, most people never got theirs working. So just the fact that I got mine working is uh, a feat within itself. And so all this goes and it clicks. There's a relay down there that just, that's the clicking. And what it's doing is the heaters are coming on and off. And so that platform will just kind of raise every time it needs to go up and it'll just do that. And so I'm going to print out that third piece. So, all right, that's the MakerBot. Pretty cool, huh?